we think. Uh, but we also feel. Uh, I finally caught American Sniper on Saturday night. And I was pleased when I saw that it won Best Picture because I thought it was an amazingly sensitive movie. Uh, the movie American Sniper. It was an amazingly sensitive movie. Uh, it showed, among other things, the trap that, the stereotypical trap that many men can be caught in in our culture, which is that men are not allowed to show public expressions of feelings except for aggression, uh, especially aggression, and also uh, sexual lust. Uh, it is difficult for men in our culture to escape from those uh, stereotypes for a lot of them. Uh, and once again, uh, women are caught in the same traps. Uh, different emotions, but these are the ones you're allowed to express in public, and these are the ones you're not allowed to express. Uh, I sometimes find it disturbing, like when there's been some terrible tragedy in a high school context, and they show the students gathered for the vigil, and the girls will be on the inside, and the boys will be surrounding them. And I think either that's that thing where I was raised to protect women, uh, or is it the boys will stand there and watch the girls have the public emotion. The girls will stand there and cry, and the boys will stand there and be stoic. I don't know exactly what is at work, but we can all get caught by our culture in a world where we are expected to deny uh, some of the range of our feelings. Uh, and so the question is, uh, who opens us up? Who has set us free at times to weep, at times to laugh, at times to cry, at times to play a joke on somebody, at times to be bold enough to be creative and put that creativity out there for others to share. Um, I think for me once again, um, the great lack in my education is precisely in the artistic. I've never learned to read music. I cannot play a musical instrument. I cannot draw, I cannot paint. And one of the things I want to do on the next couple of years is take a basic drawing course. I have looked at enough art in my life. I don't have a clue if I have any ability to express it. My sister loves to sew. I know how to fix the lawnmower. <laughs> you know, little gender stereotyping there. Uh, I don't, I know that I like to manipulate words. I can write books, but can I write fiction? I don't know, but I know that I want to find out uh, to feel to feel the full range of emotions. Uh, and there have been a couple of people who've set me free to do that. One, once again, was Carl Wintersdorf, precisely because he was one of the funniest men I have ever known in my entire life, especially on two glasses of wine. Uh, and the uh, other person is my sister, who often calls me to support her in very concrete ways that involve my getting in touch with a broader range of feelings, precisely so that I can be with her in the success and in the challenges and in all that kind of uh, thing. So, again, 
I'll pose a question for you to think about and to share. Who is the person who has opened you up and given you permission to feel in a broader kind of way than you would have not, than you would have if that person had not been part of your life? <laughs>